dreams are anxiety dreams. Uh, mostly about money, apparently, or personal appearance, but um, they're very, very common dreams. I've had them, and um, usually it's like dreams where you're brushing your teeth and your teeth fall out. It's funny, when the record title came out, a, a bunch of people I've talked to was like, oh, I have those dreams, I have those dreams. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a indicator of anxious times, I guess. I'm sort of obsessed with ang where the way we ha ang anxiety sits in our um, culture right now. This I met this doctor at the beginning of this record, like when we were writing the record, and he said well over half of the people who come into his office as a general practitioner come for anxiety-related things. Huh. And, uh, and the New York Times has an anxiety column, and there's just like all these kind of harbingers of where we're at with it. And I think a lot of it comes from the way we can put out these projections of ourselves through like, you know, Facebook and social media now, and then who we really are. And I think that what fills up in that space in the middle is, is anxiety. Big city, that's a lot of love.